Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to the channel where we delve into the cosmos' most captivating enigmas. Today, we're focusing on the red planet, Mars, a place of rusty hues, towering volcanoes, and ancient riverbeds, a world that has captivated humanity for centuries. And guess what? NASA's Curiosity rover has stumbled upon something extraordinary. A discovery that has sent ripples of excitement through the scientific community and beyond. It's a tale of serendipity, exploration, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. So buckle up, space enthusiasts, as we unravel the mysteries behind NASA's accidental but mind-blowing discovery on Mars. For years, Curiosity has been our emissary on Mars. A testament to human ingenuity, this robotic explorer roams the alien landscape, its mission to unravel the secrets held within Mars's dusty embrace. Curiosity analyzes rocks, scrutinizes the soil, and peers into the Martian atmosphere. Each data point it gathers adds a piece to the puzzle of Mars's past. But its latest discovery was far from planned. It was a stroke of cosmic luck, a testament to the unpredictable nature of exploration. What did Curiosity find? Well, that's where our story truly begins. Picture this. Curiosity, our intrepid explorer, is traversing the Gedis Valley's channel on Mars. This ancient waterway, now dry, holds clues to a wetter past. As Curiosity rumbles along, its wheels crunch over the rocky terrain. But this time, something extraordinary happens. One of the rover's wheels cracks open a rock. And what lies beneath excites the mission team back on Earth. I couldn't believe my sensors. The broken rock reveals a hidden treasure, a cluster of yellowish green crystals shimmering under the faint Martian sun. It's a sight never before witnessed on the red planet. The analysis is swift and conclusive, pure sulfur. The discovery takes the scientific community by storm. It's a substantial deposit, hinting at intriguing geological processes. The presence of pure sulfur suggests volcanic activity or hydrothermal systems. It's like finding an oasis in the desert. And indeed, this discovery is a true oasis, a beacon of scientific intrigue in the vast Martian desert. The discovery of pure sulfur adds a new layer to the Martian narrative. It fuels speculation about the planet's past and its potential to have once harbored life. But before we delve into those tantalizing possibilities, let's take a closer look at the characteristics of this unexpected find. The sulfur found by Curiosity isn't the dull yellow powder we might imagine. It's something far more captivating. Imagine crystals translucent and gleaming, catching the faint Martian sunlight. These crystals, formed over eons, hold within their structure secrets of Mars's past. The texture of these crystals is equally intriguing. They are not rough or jagged, but surprisingly smooth, almost glassy to the touch. This smoothness speaks volumes about the geological processes that led to their formation. It suggests a slow, perhaps even gentle, crystallization process. Many of us associate sulfur with a rather unpleasant smell, the pungent aroma of rotten eggs. However, that association is a misconception. That distinctive odor comes from hydrogen sulfide, a gas often found alongside sulfur but chemically distinct. Pure sulfur in its elemental form is actually odorless. So 
If an astronaut were to take a whiff of these Martian crystals, they wouldn't encounter the stench of rotten eggs. Instead, they'd be met with, well, nothing, at least not in terms of smell. The discovery of these sulfur crystals is even more remarkable considering how well they were hidden. Mars, as its nickname suggests, is awash in reddish hues. Iron oxide, essentially rust, dominates the Martian surface, giving the planet its characteristic color. These yellowish-green crystals nestled amongst the Martian rocks were surprisingly well camouflaged. They blended seamlessly with their surroundings, almost invisible to the rover's cameras. It was only the chance event of Curiosity's wheel crushing a rock that unveiled this hidden treasure. The discovery of pure sulfur on Mars is like finding a flashing neon sign that says, look over here, why all the excitement? Because sulfur is no ordinary element, especially when it comes to the search for life beyond Earth. You see, sulfur is a key ingredient in many of life's essential molecules. Think proteins, those workhorses of the cell, responsible for everything from building tissues to fighting off infections. Many proteins rely on sulfur to maintain their shape and function correctly. Without sulfur, these molecular machines would sputter and fail. It's like a delicate dance between elements, with sulfur playing a crucial role in the intricate choreography of life. To understand sulfur's significance, we need to consider life's chemistry. Six elements are the building blocks of life. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These elements, abbreviated as KNOPs, form the molecules of all living organisms. Finding sulfur on Mars suggests the chemical ingredients for life were present. Section 3, Martian Mysteries. Piecing together the puzzle. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of this Martian mystery. The discovery of pure sulfur raises more questions than it answers. How did the sulfur get there? One possibility is that the sulfur formed in an environment rich in volcanic activity. Mars boasts some of the largest volcanoes in our solar system. Or perhaps the sulfur points to a different kind of watery past. We'd see section four, a sulfur powered time machine. Imagine the sulfur crystals as tiny time capsules, each one holding whispers of a bygone era. By studying these crystals, scientists hope to unravel Mars's secrets. They'll look for clues about temperature, acidity, and water availability. These details will help paint a clearer picture of Mars billions of years ago. Was it a warm, wet world with potential for life? Or a harsh, unforgiving environment? Pure sulfur offers a glimpse into Mars's history. Section 1. Echoes of ancient waters. The discovery of pure sulfur isn't Curiosity's first brush with sulfur on Mars. The rover has previously encountered other forms of this element, each telling a tale of the planet's watery past. Remember those sulfates we talked about? These sulfur-containing salts are like fingerprints left behind by ancient Martian lakes and seas. Imagine a time when Mars was a wetter, perhaps even warmer world. Rivers flowed, lakes shimmered, and maybe, just maybe, life gained a foothold. As these bodies of water evaporated over eons, they left behind telltale signs of their existence, sulfates. These salts embedded in the Martian rock are like postcards from a bygone era. They tell us that water, a key ingredient for life as we know it, 
was once abundant on Mars. Section 1. Echoes of Ancient Waters The discovery of pure sulphur is in Curiosity's first brush with sulphur on Mars. The rover has previously encountered other forms of this element, each telling a tale of the planet's watery past. Remember those sulphates we talked about? These sulphur-containing salts are like fingerprints left behind by ancient Martian lakes and seas. Imagine a time when Mars was a wetter, perhaps even warmer world. Rivers flowed, lakes shimmered, and maybe, just maybe, life gained a foothold. And then there's gypsum, another intriguing sulphur-bearing mineral that Curiosity has stumbled upon. This time, the clues point to a different kind of watery past, one potentially even more exciting in the search for life beyond Earth. On Earth, gypsum often forms in hot springs and hydrothermal vents, those scorching hot environments where water seeps through cracks in the Earth's crust, interacting with volcanic rocks. These environments, as extreme as they may seem, are teeming with life. Microbes, those tiny pioneers of the biological world, thrive in these sulphur-rich havens. Finding gypsum on Mars, especially within cracks in the planet's surface, suggests that similar hydrothermal systems might have existed there billions of years ago. Curiosity isn't the only rover that stumbled upon intriguing clues about Mars's watery past. Remember Spirit, its robotic cousin that explored the Red Planet from 2004 to 2010? Spirit made a remarkable discovery of nearly pure silica. On Mars, finding nearly pure silica is like striking geological gold. Such high concentrations are often associated with hot springs and geysers. Spirit's discovery hints at a more dynamic and potentially habitable Mars. Each discovery, from sulfates to gypsum to nearly pure silica, adds a piece to the puzzle of Mars's past. It's like assembling a cosmic jigsaw puzzle with each piece revealing a bit more about the red planet's history. These discoveries, taken together, paint a picture of a planet that was once very different from the cold, dry world we see today. They suggest that Mars had the essential ingredients for life as we know it. Liquid water, chemical building blocks, and potentially even sources of energy. The discovery of pure sulfur on Mars sent ripples of excitement throughout the scientific community. It was as if Curiosity had beamed back a message from the red planet, a message that whispered of a more dynamic and potentially habitable past. This is a really unexpected find. It's not something we were looking for, but that's what makes exploration so thrilling. The scientific community erupted in a flurry of discussions, hypotheses, and eager anticipation. It was as if a new chapter had been opened in the ongoing saga of Martian exploration. The sulfur discovery served as a potent reminder of the sheer vastness of the unknown. It ignited the imaginations of scientists worldwide, sparking a cascade of questions about Mars's past, its potential for life, and the mysteries that still lay hidden beneath its rusty surface. Was this a sign that ancient Mars, once thought to be a barren wasteland, had been a more hospitable abode? Could this discovery hold the key to unlocking the secrets of life beyond Earth? The possibilities were as tantalizing as they were numerous. The discovery also underscored the crucial role of serendipity in scientific exploration. It was a stark reminder that some of the most profound discoveries are often the least expected. 
Not every rock has something interesting inside, Vasavada mused, reflecting on the fortuitous nature of the find. But that's the beauty of exploration. You never know what you're going to find until you look. Curiosity, it seemed, had stumbled upon a treasure trove of scientific insight, not by design, but by a stroke of cosmic luck. It was a testament to the power of exploration, the thrill of the unknown, and the enduring human spirit of discovery. The discovery of pure sulfur on Mars served as a clarion call, urging scientists to view the red planet through a new lens. It challenged long-held assumptions and ignited a renewed sense of wonder about our celestial neighbor. The journey to understand Mars is far from over. In fact, it has just begun. Each discovery, each piece of data brings us one step closer to unraveling the secrets of this enigmatic world. And perhaps, just perhaps, it will lead us to the ultimate revelation that we're not alone in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Curiosity's accidental discovery of pure sulfur on Mars is a testament to the power of exploration. The universe is full of surprises, waiting to be unveiled by those who dare to venture into the unknown. The red planet, once considered lifeless, reveals hidden depths and tantalizing possibilities. Every image and data point from Curiosity brings us closer to understanding Mars's enigmatic past. The journey is far from over, but Mars reveals more secrets each day, whispering tales of ancient waters and hidden oases. The quest to unravel Mars's mysteries is a testament to human curiosity. The universe is vast, full of wonders yet to be imagined. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries from space.